The following information is from Dr. Al Sears. Now, for decades, the public has been force-fed a diet of misinformation and intentional deception. Misinformation like red meat causes diabetes and cancer, and eggs cause heart attacks, and eating meat is bad for the planet. And now the war on traditional food has taken a new turn. Plant-based steaks, burgers, chicken patties, and eggs now appear on supermarket shelves and restaurant menus everywhere. Big Agra wants you to believe that these meat alternatives are healthier than what nature provides. They're not. By definition, plant-based eggs and meat products are processed, unnatural, fake foods. They're made from more than 50 ingredients that are decidedly unrelated to the animals that they mimic. Most plant products also contain soy and seitan, which gives them their authentic texture. Now, soy is loaded with estrogen mimickers that cause erectile dysfunction, man boobs, loss of bone and muscle mass, and at least a half a dozen different types of cancer. Soy also impairs insulin secretion and might actually cause diabetes. A new study reveals that it may be even connected to dementia and mental illness. Meanwhile, seitan, known as wheat meat, is a starchy, grain-based concoction made from gluten and is highly processed. These products, despite clever marketing, are anything but good for you. Soy and seitan uh, are horrible for your health and are at least certainly real foods, but other ingredients hiding in your veggie burger are anything but. Makers of meat alternatives point to the studies that declare these compounds are safe. But here's what they fail to mention. Independent research has discovered the studies have been funded or commissioned by the very same companies that manufacture these fake foods. And despite the endless misinformation from food manufacturers and medical political organizations trying to remove animal fats and cholesterol from your diet is a bad idea. It's grains, carbohydrates, and processed foods that cause excessive weight gain, inflammation, and chronic disease, not dietary fat. If you like this video, please hit the like button or share it with somebody who this will be important to. This is Dr. Lombardo.